Hello, welcome back. This is our second video on our um, butterfly symphony block. Um, just doing some stitching around my butterfly. Now the template that I have um, made for you guys for this butterfly shows the lines um, kind of like right in here where uh, you would finish off the body and draw the head or stitch the head I guess. Um, on mine I just had a plastic template that I had made so I did not have lines to follow. I'll be drawing those in um, after I do all this uh, tracing right now, stitching. So yeah, I'll just be quiet for a little bit and let you watch me stitch. Okay, I didn't stay quiet for too long, but I'm right here where I stopped and turned my work. If you already had your, um, the rest of your lines drawn on your block for the butterfly head and the rest of the body, you could have kept stitching and, you know, finished one side at a time, like a wing and the side of the body, and then, uh, traveled over and done the other side. So, um, yeah, I mean, it might have worked a little better that way if I would have drawn those on ahead of time. Just a suggestion. And I really like this butterfly. I mean, there's so many different ways you can stitch inside of its wings. There's plenty of room, you know, to pretty much do any kind of a design you want. I did end up going with swirls. I really liked that look. And here my um, lines for the body are going to magically show up. <laughs> A rough sketch of what they look like. I didn't want to take my needle out of my material, so I kind of sketched it on as it was in there. It was kind of hard. Let's see how we could have made this circle as we were stitching earlier when we did the top of the butterfly head. It probably would have been a little bit easier to go all the way around the head, you know, and then do in this area. Like I said, this this block was just rough for me for some reason. It all worked out in the end, but definitely know how to do it differently if I were to do it again. Now we're going to go ahead and do some echoing. Um, I did not measure how far away I was echoing. I just eyeballed it, did some echoing, and um, as you read the lesson I made, um, I did not echo on the outside of my butterfly. Uh, that was my mistake. If I would have echoed around my butterfly a couple times on the outside, uh, it would have shown up a little bit better. After I put my swirls in for my filler, it really blended in and you could hardly see the butterfly at all. Also, I did the head and the body. You'll see it at the end of this video. I did that swirled, kind of echoed, I guess. I don't know exactly what you would call it. You'll see it. But I did that on the inside of the butterfly on the body, and I did not like that. I did end up ripping those out. Um, the way you see the body of the butterfly right now is how it's going to be in the end. Just plain. There's not going to be any stitching in it whatsoever at all. I wanted my butterfly to show up a little bit better. So that's why I ripped those out. I didn't like them. But, and yeah, and this echo... That I'm making right now you'll see the you know that little line I just made inside of the wings um, to make my butterfly stick out better because my it blended in I did the scribbling inside that little border I guess you could call it on the wing and it really did make it stand out a lot better you'll see that in the pictures in the lesson and um, I'm not sure if I have a video of that I don't think I do I think I just put the pictures in the lesson so, uh, if you'd like some better pictures, if you can't see it that well, um, just ask. I'll post some more pictures if you'd like. 
but it did it made it stand out really well and if you really wanted that look um, go ahead and after you make your echo right here just do your scribbling inside of it and basically it's just a bunch of stitching to fill in that space and I used a sulky thread um, I don't know all the you know 100% whatever I just know it's sulky and I really like it and it's really pretty it's kind of shiny had a little bit of a sheer to it but uh okay enough of me rambling and here comes our swirls it has taken me a very long time to master these swirls I have practiced so much um, drawing and stitching for some reason these are just no matter what project I'm working on these are hard I get into a corner and then I get stuck luckily I did pretty good on this project I did not really get stuck anywhere surprisingly considering every single thing else I've done on this project has been difficult but uh but yeah these I think turned out pretty good considering and once again I'll be quiet for a while and let you watch me stitch Okay, I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but um, a big truck just drove by. It was really loud. Um, I just think it's funny because I can't find any quiet time. So once again, I am sitting in my car. Uh, this time, though, I'm home. Uh, the kids are in the house. I just, I just can't get everyone to be quiet. And if I start to do a video, then someone will come in and, Hey, Mom, where's this? Or, Hey, Mom, can I this? So... I just snuck outside. <laughs> I'm sitting in my car with the air conditioner on. And yeah, and here we are. So yeah, this is how I would like to finish my butterfly right here. But instead, I do these silly swirl inside the head. Well, you'll see what I'm doing. After I did this, I did not like it whatsoever at all. I did not like the look of it. It just took away from what I was trying to do. I don't know. I should have stopped here and just ripped out this and been done with it. But yeah, unfortunately I did. I kind of messed it all up. I didn't even think about it because then when I put my swirls around my butterfly, that blended in with the butterfly body and head. Um, silly me. I learned my lesson for sure. See this one even, I didn't even stitch this one very good, the little center part. You'll see right here I get kind of crooked. Whoopsie. I just stitched right over it. It was not my day. Not my day whatsoever at all. I mean, you can stitch whatever you want in this area if you just want to echo it on the inside. Kind of like what I just did right here with the bottom of the body and just leave it at that. That's even nice. I just did not like the outcome in the end at all. But like I've said before, you know, this is your creation. Make it your own. Enjoy the process. And hopefully you don't have as many hiccups in your um, creative process as I did. Um, yeah, so once again, thanks for watching.